nurses are burnt out, stressed out, overworked at times, but we do it because we care. Things have changed. Um, they're extremely stressed out. They're working long shifts, leaving their families at home, um, sometimes sick family members um, to take care of, of other person's family members. We put on this face that, oh, you know, we're fine, we're doing okay. Um, a lot of the times people will see that and they're like, oh, they're doing good, they're fine. But really, a lot of the times we're just not speaking up that we're, you know, mentally struggling, financially, emotionally. As uh, resilient as nurses are, as strong and experienced and dedicated as they are, they're not immune to the challenges of a global pandemic. Nurses experience uh, grief injury and moral injury, traumatic injury and fatigue injury. And recovering from the pandemic requires support. One reason that we've started this campaign is to connect with our community and those that want to help in the recovery efforts from the pandemic. I see, see it every day, people struggling, trying to balance the home life with the work life and kids and everything, it, it's tough. I was struggling financially with daycare because I was always here. There was a few occasions where, you know, some bills fell behind because you were, you were here and you worked 12 hours and sometimes it goes into 16 hours. We had a nurse that had a house fire that lost everything. She came to me, some staff members came to me. We went to our foundation and they were able to help her um, with some emergent needs um, to, to get her back on her feet. We had just a lot of people that didn't want to hug their families at night because they were exposed all the time. Humans are social creatures. We love being around other people. So you take away a lot of that and it just feels stressful. It's like, why would I want to do this to myself? But I want to help people. So it's, it's a double-edged sword there. When we're here, we are definitely nurse mode. Um, we are strong. We do advocate for our patients, you know, do anything to protect them. But when we're home, we're so exhausted you know, to where we're not strong. Um, we try to be for our families, but we're just, we're not at that level. We are real people. Um, there's been a lot of emotional um, distress that we've taken with all of COVID. There was times that I would go home and just hug my daughter because I watched somebody say goodbye to their loved one over an iPad with me in the room. And that was honestly, probably one of the hardest parts of working COVID as a nurse. The community in which we serve means everything to us. We want to be here, we want to work hard, and we want to work to help people get better. That's why we took the position in the first place. And we'd like to invite our community to help to support these efforts. Our nurses are always there for the community, and now we'd like to invite you to be there for nurses. The donations, both monetary and, and physical donations, are so greatly appreciated and I am truly thankful. It really means a lot to us, the support from the community and the foundation, because recognizing that we are here for you, the community, as you are here for us as well. I think that um, because of what the nurses do every day um, and that they give so much to the patients at the bedside, to feel that return support in, in the work that they're doing uh, would mean the world to them. To have our community support us uh, in nursing, no matter where we are, would validate why we do what we do every single day. It can be overwhelming having someone's life in your hands and feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders to make sure that they're okay because you're not just taking care of the patient, you're also taking care of the family. Sometimes we do sacrifice ourselves for the good of the community and of our patients. They really sacrifice so much at home, at work, and yet they continue to do it every day. So let's help them and let's let them know how much we care and appreciate them.